Hey everyone, this is Kaiser from Flagship Studios. Welcome back to another Flagship Studios video production. For this video, we'll be focusing on the different races and classes you can choose from in Mythos. The races are humans, satyrs, and gremlins. Each has a very distinct look and you'll be able to choose from both male and female versions of each race. The race and gender you choose are strictly visual choices though, so don't fret too much about picking the right or most powerful one. Now we come to classes. In contrast to the races, your class serves as the core foundation of how your character will play and develop over time. This isn't something you can change later, though you can make several characters if you wish, so try and pick a class that sounds like the most fun to you at the start. The first class we'll be looking at is the Blood Letter. Somewhat middle of the road in terms of strength, Blood Letters also start out with the most vitality. Being that they are the best melee class, this makes sense, right? Getting up close and personal with the enemies will be your main strategy, though you'll also be able to summon Blood Minions to assist you. Your skills will typically focus around powerful melee attacks that work good at close range, so if you're someone who likes to be in the thick of things, the Blood Letter class will be perfect for you. The next class is the Pyromancer. As the name implies, fire is your friend. Pyromancers are effective both up close with enchanted weapons and from a medium distance using different magical spells. They also have the ability to summon elementals and use magical shields, so there's a lot of flexibility with the class. The Pyromancer's attack power isn't the greatest, but the range of abilities that they have more than make up for this. A great class for wishy-washy types who try to be a bit of everything. The last class we'll be looking at is the Gadgeteer. The Gadgeteer specializes in guns and rifles, so they really work well from a distance. But this distance doesn't necessarily mean they're weaker classes. In fact, it's quite the opposite, as Gadgeteers deal massive amounts of damage with their weapons. The rate of attack is a bit slower though, so it won't be an easy win, but they have the ability to make bombs and traps, and they can summon drones as well, so you won't be an easy target. In general, if you like some breathing space between you and the enemy, the Gadgeteer should be perfect for you. Well folks, that about wraps up this look at the character classes for Mythos. We'll be back soon to show you more about playing the game online and going into depth into the different environments. Until then, if you'd like to find out more about the game, head on over to www.mythos.com or check out some of our other Mythos videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks everyone and see you online.